So your teacher has asked you to upload a photo of your work. Maybe it's something you drew, maybe it's um, something you hand wrote or your math, and they want you to submit it to Canvas. So in today's session, I'm Carol, um, tech trainer from Washington County, County Schools, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Chromebook to take the photo and upload it into your Canvas assignment. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is let's go find a couple apps. So go to the bottom left corner, the little circle, that's your app launcher. And we'll go in here and then let's go, go on into the up arrow icon. And we're looking for one called camera. And when you, now don't open it yet, but when you find camera, I want you to right click on it. And the way you right click on a Chromebook is two finger tap on the trackpad. So two, two finger tap the trackpad on the camera and one finger tap to pin it to the shelf. And that puts it down here on the bottom permanently. We're also going to do the same thing to files. So go find the files app, two finger tap and pin it to shelf. And these are the two we're going to use today. So the, so let's go on in and use the camera app. So open it up to make it bigger. We're going to use the square next to the X in the upper right corner that will um, maximize it. Now let me show you around. So the circle is the take a picture button. And, but before we get into all that, um, make sure that you're in a well-lit area. I'm sitting next to a window. Um, if it's daytime and there's some sunlight available, maybe you could do the same thing and take your Chromebook and your homework, whatever you're going to send, uh, take a picture of and bring it over to the light. Um, if it's nighttime, then just turn on a lot of lights and get in a well-lit area to take your picture. So try your best to take a good picture. So um, the default is this rectangle. So let's say that this is my work. I could hold it up like this, or you could switch it to square and then hold it vertical. This isn't really vertical, but it's slightly vertical. So you can choose how you want to do it. But one thing to um, make note of is when you hold it up, look at it in the screen and make sure it's not backwards. If it's backwards, there's a button for that. It's on the left. There's three buttons on the left. And the um, top one is the mirroring. Watch what happens when I click it. See, yours may be um, backwards by default. So check on that before you snap the picture. I don't think your teacher can read it backwards. <laughs> so you can choose, you know, rectangle or vertical. So if you're going to do the, um, you know, the horizontal one, we can twist it uh, when we're done. I'll show you how to do that or hold it up vertical. So oop, here we go. So I'm going to take my photo and I'm just going to do my best. Your finger's probably going to be in it. Oh, another tip. It's going to be a little hard to like, tap on that circle while you're holding your paper. So a great tip is you can use the space bar on your Chromebook to take the picture. So I'm going to get as much as I'm going to get all of my um, writing in the picture and then I'm going to hit the space bar. Boom. There we go. Now it's little thumbnail is in the bottom right corner and click that circle and that will be your photo. So now that I have my photo, um, there's some, if you have a little time to spend here, you can do some light editing. If you're in a hurry, the first thing I would do is name it and then get out. So to name it, go to the upper left corner and they always name it just a bunch of garbledy gook. So click there and let me call this Monday's Math Homework. And then just click in the black area and um, that and that name is stored. Okay. But if you have a little time, um, and especially if you need to rotate yours, let me show you some editing tools. So in the upper right corner are some tools. You'll notice one of them is the um, trash can. If you want to throw it away and take another picture, you can do that. Um, but let's go into the pencil. So I'm going into the pencil and this will bring up some editing tools underneath the photo. If you've ever done this on your phone, it's very, very similar. So the one I would show you is the little circle arrows. These are the rotators if you need to rotate your photo. Then if you want to crop it, um, you don't have to do this step, but if you have the time and want to, you could go to the little crop button. It's the second one from the left. And this is their attempt at cropping, cropping it. So they're going to 
cut out some of my stuff if I do that. So let me adjust it using the corners so that all my words and all my writing is in the um, image. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as your work is showing, that's the main thing. All right. If your room was, oh, when you're done um, adjusting this, hit crop again to cut it. It cuts, cuts it just like scissors. If your room was dark, um, you might want to go into brightness. That's the little sunshine. If it looks fine to you now, I would probably just be done. But if it, if your room was dark, you can go into brightness and there's these little sliders and you can make it brighter. And sometimes I'll do contrast. What contrast does is it makes the darks darker and the lights lighter, but be very careful with contrast. You can really um, make it worse if you get too heavy handed with this. And even if you get too heavy handed with the brightness, it can get too washed out. So don't go too crazy with those, but maybe um, certain situations will call for that. All right. And when you're all done with brightness and contrast, click on done. And then if you're all done with the editing tools, you can exit the editing tools. We're done with our photo. So I'm going to close the app with the X in the right upper right corner. That brings me back to the camera. I'm done with that. Let's close that as well. And now I'm going to upload it into Canvas. If I've got my Canvas already uh, logged in, ready to go, if you need to get yours out, if you're following along, you might want to pause the video now, but I'm going to go straight on in. So I have an assignment here for my teacher called Show Your Math Homework. I'm going to open that up. And it says, please upload a photo of your homework. And there's a button here called it Submit Assignment. Now, when you scroll down, there are some different choices that we can use to upload a file. But right here, we're going to stay in File Upload, and we're going to choose a file. This is going to take you to the area of your Chromebook where stuff gets downloaded. And I called mine Monday's Math Homework. And here it is. It's in Downloads. Uh, it might be here in Recent. It would be in Images as well. So if you need to go look for it, these are the places you could look. So, but there it is. And I'm going to open it. And the last step is you want to submit it by hitting the blue button. And it will send you a message. And over on the right, there's a little checkbox that says it was submitted. There's your date and time. It's kind of like a little receipt. So that got sent to your teacher. Your teacher now has it, and they can grade it, and they'll send you back um, your grade. Now, you are done submitting it, but I want to show you a couple things. So the next time you need to upload your homework, so let's say you're right here in Canvas, and it says to upload your homework, you can just pop up your camera app, take your photo, and name it, and then you can, you know, submit it. Um, another, and the other app I had you um, pin on the shelf is the Files app. If you ever want to go in and look at the files, that you create on your Chromebook and down, get downloaded to your Chromebook. This is um, where you go and look at that anytime you want to. So the recent is things that you do in the order that you do them. Um, here are your you know, images. You, if you make videos, they'll be here. Uh, and this even connects to your Google Drive folder, which is your cloud storage. So it's good that you Keep that handy. You might need it every now and then. And that's what you need to know. Good luck. Thanks.